Hello everyone. I am in the middle of the park and it's also, oh my God, I cannot believe my battery is blinking. So I'm gonna try to make a very quick video for you. I'm right in the middle of the park in an extremely windy situation. I am doing a comparison between the Wireless Go and the Tascam DR10L. Uh, so uh, I just wanted to do a very quick twist, test, especially outside. I have no idea how this is uh, coming up, but I'm going to set my camera here in a second. Okay, so there you go. So um, first of all, the um, good thing about having an external uh, microphone, especially if it's wireless or whether it's an external recorder where you have to record and then uh, sync in post, is the fact that you don't really necessarily have to be next to the camera in order to be heard. As you can see, I'm quite far away. I'm not sure if you can see me very well. Let me turn the camera like this. Okay, I think it's much better now. So you can see here, I have two microphones. I have the wireless go right here with the windshield. Uh, I hope it's actually uh, helping because as you can see, it's extremely windy. And here I have the Tascam. Let me show it to you. Here I have, I have the Tascam uh, DR10L, uh, which I will have to sync in post. And then I will be doing a comparison between the Wireless Go and then Tascam and you can decide which one sounds better and whether this is something that you might want to have. So let's try to walk a little bit, okay, with the microphone and see how it sounds. So I'm going, ooh, <laughs> the weather is actually quite nice, but the thing is, um, uh, well, it's not windy, it, uh, sorry, it's not sunny, but um, it's, it's actually quite nice. Um, uh, the temperature is good. Um, I don't even know what to say in this video. I just want you to guys uh, actually pay attention to the sound. So I'm going to show a little bit where I am right now. As you can see here, that is called the um, uh, uh, Hash House. I think it's the Hash House. It's the place where usually uh, they used to make lots of uh, shows uh, concerts and uh, uh, like uh, after parties. Uh, sometimes the fashion week also happens there. Uh, I don't really know exactly what this is here, but it's a very nice place where people sometimes come when it's very nice, uh, sunny. People just can sit here and uh, like have lunch and just relax. Oh my goodness. <laughs> can you hear the sound of the wind? It's extremely extremely windy so we're going to come out on that um, other side so now we keep on walking and again um, if you have like a microphone like this um, you're supposed to get better sound for your videos and this is the main purpose of this video to show you how these two uh, different microphones uh, sound basically this is what I wanted to show you again very very short video I really hope this wind windscreen here from the road wireless is actually holding up well. Oh wow, what is this? Look at this guys. Oh wow. Look at this. This is so cool. Oh, this is so beautiful. Wow, what is this? Is this like a willow tree or something? Not sure. Wow. This is really nice, but look at this. Super cool. Wow. So I'm not sure if there's a, an exit there. We're gonna try. So, okay. So let's keep walking and filming and recording because this is all about the sound. Yes, I think there's a, an exit right there. So this is where we are going to exit and then of course go back home and check this out on the computer and share it with you. I really love this. Look at that. Super cool. <laughs> oh, by the way, the camera I'm using is the Canon EOS M6, which is my favorite vlogging camera so far because I was actually planning to get the G7X Mark III, but 
I am so disappointed about the fact that it does not have the dual pixel that I don't even want to talk about it. So forget it even exists. Let's hope that they do it next time. So yes, I found the exit here. So guys, this was the test for today. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And I also hope that this is helpful to uh, yeah, make you decide whether you want to have one of these microphones or not. So let's go back home. So back in the house, I finished watching the footage on the computer and I must say that they both sound pretty good. Uh, with the difference I notice is that uh, the Rode of Wireless Go, because of the windshield that I was uh, using outside, it seems like the sound was a little bit cleaner, especially because of the wind. But I have to say that the test cam also hold up pretty well. It sounds quite good in my opinion. Uh, so I think it's really a question of taste. Obviously the wireless go was a little more silent when it comes to windy situation, but that is due to probably due to the windshield. Not sure if maybe applying a windshield on the uh, Tascam uh, lavalier would also uh, result in the same thing. The only protection I was using for the lavalier was this uh, tiny little foam here that it seems to have protected a little bit against the wind. But all in all, I personally think that both microphones work very well. The only thing that sometimes this kind of microphones can be a pain is that every time you want to switch on the camera, you have to remember to switch on the microphone as well, because you will hardly be filming all the time. So if you have to keep turning the camera on and off, you have to remember also to turn off the microphone in order to save battery. So that is one thing for you to consider. If you don't want to have to turn a microphone on and off, you better off with a microphone on top of the camera and then you don't even have to worry about it. As long as the microphone doesn't need any battery because otherwise you will still have to do that. So this was the test for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this comparison. If you have questions, leave them down in the comments below. Below. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a fabulous day.